A very good afternoon. Welcome to BBC London. I'm Thomas McGill. The bodies of a three-year-old boy and an 11-year-old girl are among four people found dead at a flat in Hounslow. Police were called to the property on Staines Road yesterday afternoon after concerns about the welfare of the family were raised. They found a man and a woman in their 30s along with two children. Megan Owen has sent this from the scene. Police describe the four deaths in the first floor flat at this property as a terrible incident. An officer has been standing guard throughout the day and forensic teams have been coming in and out. The force believe that the two adults in their 30s, the 11-year-old girl and three-year-old boy are all members of the same family. They haven't yet been formally identified, but local people tell me they were Polish. Based on the initial inquiries, I can say that we are not currently seeking anybody else in connection with this very tragic incident. We must, however, retain an open mind as to the circumstances. It's left the community on this busy residential street extremely distressed. We've seen people coming here crying and comforting each other. Some neighbours, parents of young children, were too distressed to speak on camera. I felt in a big shock because this is like three blocks from my place and uh, I have a child as well and four bodies is not a, a normal crime, it's a proper crime. The circumstances, it, it, it is very, very tragic and, um, you know, as a parent myself, you know, hearing of young ones lost there, I mean, it, it, really, is, it really is tragedy and a very, very sorry moment at this time. Yeah, it's shocking, of course. It's dead, of course, it's shocking. Normally we're so quiet here. Hounslow Council has expressed their deepest sympathies and local MP Seema Malhotra tweeted, everyone will be devastated by news that two adults and two children have been found dead in their home in Bedfont. Specialist investigations are ongoing, our thoughts are with their family. If you have any information, please do get in touch with the police. Officers are trying to establish exactly what happened at the property. Post-mortem examinations have been arranged and there'll be an increased police presence throughout the weekend. Megan Owen, BBC London. Tributes have been paid to the singer Tina Turner, who died last month at West End Live in Trafalgar Square earlier. The free event attracted thousands of musical theatre fans and included performance of performances from the cast of Tina the Musical, Grease, and many more West End hits. Stars from the Book of Mormon also performed one of its biggest numbers. Afterwards, Dom Simpson from the musical said the audience and the event is unique. We all know how amazing the theatre fans are in London, um, but to have an opportunity on a stage like this in Trafalgar Square on a gorgeous day just makes it so special, you know, to come out there and see all those people screaming and, and waving their arms around is brilliant, really fantastic. People are going to travel from all over to come and see this because it is a great opportunity to come and see some free theatre. Hopefully it will give them an introduction to shows they've not had a chance to see in person. Um, they might go away and listen to the, the cast album recordings and things like that just to get a, a better idea of them. But yeah, it is fantastic, I think. The cost of living, the cost of theatre, it's it's, it's stifling these days, so to, to have that opportunity here in the West End is brilliant. I'm so proud to be a part of it. Well, it's been a beautiful day out there, hasn't it? But is it set to last? Elizabeth Rizzini can tell us with the weather. Hello there, good evening. A different feel to things this weekend. It's been cloudier today and a little cooler, but the humidity levels have been rising. And from midnight tonight, there is a Met Office weather warning in force for thunderstorms that last throughout the day tomorrow. But it should be a dry start to the morning, possibly one or two morning showers out towards parts of Essex, but the majority of the thunderstorms will get going as we head through the second half of the day and into the evening. There could be some very heavy downpours and possibly some frequent lightning too. It will feel rather muggy, highs of around 23 or 24 degrees Celsius. The thunderstorms dying out as we head into the evening. On Monday, less humid and a little warmer. It should stay largely dry. Well, that's all from me. More on all of today's stories on the BBC News app and online. Assad will be here tomorrow evening at 10 to 6. Until then, whatever you're doing, have a lovely Saturday evening. Bye-bye.